probably an odd place for a military parade, but maybe not, considering that the soldiers are here at Teador in Katsinala to accord the last honors to their departed former chief, Lieutenant General Samuel Victor Leonard Malu. The solemnity of the occasion is also underscored by the military choir's rendition of a funeral hymn. The arrival of the governor of General Malu's home state, Samuel Otom, creates a buzz as the Benue State Chief Executive makes his way to take his place beside the current Chief of Army Staff and other dignitaries, both military and civilian. Please be seated. The clergyman delivering the homily draws lessons from the life of the departed soldier as an example of responsible leadership. He was a man committed to service. He was indeed faithful and loyal in person. Such people, our generation at time, is in their need of. The presence of the Chief of Army Staff affords Governor Otum the opportunity to make a significant appeal, one on which the safety of his domain depends. The anti-open grazing prohibition law 2017, which was signed in May, will come to effect November 1st. For us in Benway State, we are under threat. And seeing the Chief of Army Staff here today, and the rest of you that are here, and very distinguished Nigerians, we are encouraged and we know that the God that we serve have brought you to also assist us. Family members, friends, colleagues, and close associates all pay their respects as the old warrior is escorted to his final resting place. However, rest may likely elude General Malu's living kinsmen if, like the governor points out, they continue to fall prey to marauding herdsmen.